Hello and welcome to Daily Astrology with me, Chloe Rose, where I will help us to set intentions and harness our gorgeous intuition on this moony Monday. So Monday, the moon is currently at 28 degrees Virgo and with the sun and Mercury at 11 degrees Taurus, we are seeing complete um, integrity with the outer world. And that net 10 of 28 is um, sort of like the final note of Taurus to see how much we have been able to ground and take back our power, live authentically, um, be really enamored with ourselves in a way that invites a lot of confirmation and a lot of what's going on right now in the outer world is just starting because we hit the first 10 degrees of Taurus and um, as the moon moves into Libra my favorite astrologer peace dealer calls it character assassination so I, I find it to be sort of like the balance um, myself and where I end and where another begins and with the sun in Taurus it's going to be a very Venusian theme so a lot of reflecting upon our value our self value the values that we live by the value that we create through our relationships with others so wherever you're at on your journey pat yourself on the back because as long as you're following your heart and taking each moment as it comes doing your best to um, lighten up as we're entering spring today's Beltane and this full moon on Friday in Scorpio is I'm feeling the energy it's so demanding it's just demanding that we drop all ways of being um, that don't serve us anymore and with Pluto retrograde and the ruler of Pluto being Scorpio this full moon is going to really highlight and define the ways that we are free now the ways that we once um, maybe looked at the themes of Capricorn such as power, career, legacy, and how it's sort of generating its own genius based on the intelligence of our integrity, based on the intelligence of our emotional processing to make sure that each step we're taking is rooted in self-love, is rooted in a willingness to be vulnerable. And no matter if you know you're being judged from the outside or you're being accepted from the outside there is a stage that we all have to go through where we're looking at ourselves and we're saying am I worthy of this vulnerability this level of complete surrender to the moment and for me it's like a lot of changes a lot of positive supportive changes and I feel that the person who I was this time last year would be so proud of me now just because of all the effort and all the consistent energy that I've been taking so let's look at this Virgo 28 degrees for the moon and it is autumn leaves pressed in a book the mind is a funny thing it pours over experience with a fine tooth comb yet only sees what it expects to see the mind programs itself, indoctrinates itself thoroughly and intensively in the fine art of imposing the familiar and the assumed upon all of life. This is a maddening way to operate, yet it does not register as being so. Instead, you like it this way. You prefer it. You advocate it simply because it's self-reinforcing and self-perpetuating. Um, what's that? Like, bias? Consent? Consent? some some way of saying like uh, everyone around you agrees so it's like this accepted notion whenever maybe um, that's not the case if you know what I'm talking about please leave it in the comments um, you are after elaborate confirmation confirmation bias there we go and validations that the little self is perfectly splendid just as it is and you will be sure to get these the transaction is guaranteed. Ooh, transactional communication, transactional relationships. That's a big theme that I think we're all ready to outgrow. Those of us who are evolving on the soul level, who are putting in that energy, putting in that effort to mature as a soul in this lifetime. But there's an unknown self who cannot breathe in this atmosphere and who knocks at the door seeking entry and is not very pleased to be turned out and pushed away and told that we are fine as we are and do not need to be stirred up by the voice 
of the rest of existence. So um, part of us that is no longer satisfied with the um, bias, the, the tendency to just accept surface level interactions really is getting a chance to be felt in a new energy and a new reverberation which is really powerful so from my book of fortune monday moon day guidance is for the moon in virgo my feelings heal me and i choose to eliminate barriers to feeling saturn's in pisces so the barriers are lifted in many ways and the old ways that we framed our legacy we're able to see now, um, due to the Pluto retrograde, how much of ourselves we kept bondage, how much of ourselves we contained, wanting to be perceived in a certain way from the confirmation bias. So the ways that you're being liberated, make sure that you are giving yourself a little bit more credit, maybe even delusionally so. Um, because as we are wading through the start of this new energy, it's going to be with us for the next 20 years. So the next two decades of our lives will be based on how much we're willing to be uncomfortable with the old ways of seeing ourselves. And for those of us who are like, F that, I'm over it, I'm fed up, I'm ready to push ahead, you might have been <laughs> bounced right from airy season. So um, I think that the feelings of contentment and satisfaction are key because as you ride those feelings and do your best to be sincere and authentic and vulnerable, the more that you're going to get that back in ways that you didn't expect, but you are being vulnerable. So it's the same concept as yesterday. Like don't do to someone that you wouldn't want them doing to you versus do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I think that you could walk the fine line of both, but also just, I love playing this game to where it's like, you know, if someone is approaching me with love, reverence, gratitude, I feel that. I allow for it to like rock my whole aura because one of my daily affirmations is I return to sender all energy sent to me. So if someone sends me love, I want to send that right back. If someone sends me anything less than that, it's cut off from my energetic signature as much as possible, as much as I do that energetic rinse and trust that my guys will lead me to do it in cases where I forget. So I just want to say that I am looking at my skin and I found out that you can use bananas in a way that's like akin to Botox. The mask of a banana peel, 10 minutes on your face over time will make your skin very firm, but you can feel it. So for those of you willing to try some new natural beauty rituals, the moon is in Virgo. Why not? And it's shifting into Libra. So you've got time to apply this natural Botox for some gorgeous earth-based skincare and I would love to hear how tourist season is treating all of us who are on our glow up because when Mars moves into Leo it's in Cancer now so we are in an emotional evolution and then Mars shifting into Cancer will bring a lot of that fire it'll bring a lot of that passion to the fore and it's going to be making a square to Pluto and Aquarius so we're going to come into our superherodom so brace yourself allow for the old ways that you cut yourself off and restricted yourself out of fear of not fitting in to a box completely dissolved because faith is growing our legacy faith in pushing the boundaries with our own levels of self-comfort, the ways that we're honest with ourselves and vulnerable with ourselves and with others will light up our life. So blessings on your moon day. I am so excited to be on this journey with all of you guys and I'm sending you so much love and appreciation. Aloha.